ladies, I'm Jamie Miller and I am kicking back on a Friday night here in rainy Maple Grove, Minnesota. Don't you just love Friday? You don't have to set the alarm, you don't have to worry about getting the kids to bed or helping them with their homework, you've got the whole weekend in front of you. And if you're here at the Miller household, chances are you might be entertaining. So I've got some girlfriends coming over, got some kids coming over, and I am going to be making a variety of things. But one thing in particular is going to knock some socks off. I am making my Bombay burgers with creamy coconut pineapple spread and crunchy curried slaw. And yes, that sounds like a mouthful, but trust me, every step is easy peasy. And the flavors, ah. Uh, fantastic. So I'm going to set down the bubbly and jump on over to the other side of the counter and we're going to get this recipe started. So I'm going to start with my creamy coconut pineapple spread. I've got half of a container of my favorite Philly flavor as you know by now if you've been watching my videos, the chive and onion. And to that I'm going to add an 8 ounce container of pineapple tidbits which I have chopped up and I drained off the juice but I did not get rid of it because I'm going to use it in my slop. So I'm going to add those to my creamy spread and I've also got some of my favorite Baker's Angel Flake coconut that I have toasted up and hooked on my cup of slaw. And I like to toast my coconut up in a little skillet. It takes about five minutes. You can certainly do it in an oven. I tend to wander off when I do it in the oven, so it's not a good thing. I need to do it on top of the stove. So five minutes, you're good to go. So I'm going to do half of it, which is about a quarter cup. I'm going to save the rest for my slaw. I'm also going to add to that a little bit of chopped up fresh cilantro. I've got about a quarter of a cup going in. And that's it for our spread. And oh my gosh, I can smell it already. It's tangy from the pineapple and fresh from the cilantro. It's going to be so good. All right, so step two, I'm going to move on to my slaw. Now I've got the second half of my chive and onion cream cheese in this bowl. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of the juice I drained from my pineapples. Now you want to make sure to get the pineapples in juice, not the ones in syrup. And I'm going to go ahead to that and add a little bit more cilantro. I've just got two tablespoons of chopped up cilantro. I'm going to add the rest of my coconut, another quarter cup of toasted coconut. I have got some curry powder. This is going to add so much flavor and give it a really pretty color. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of curry powder to my slaw and then about a half teaspoon of salt. And then just mix that all up really well before I go ahead and add some coleslaw mix. Now I like to use the angel hair, they call it the really thin stuff, but if you've got something else in your fridge, feel free to use that. I've got a couple cups of coleslaw mixture going in. Or if you're one of those green thumb kind of gals and have a cabbage out in your yard, then by all means cut that up and go with some homemade stuff. So that's it for our slaw. So did I tell you this was easy? A minute there, a minute here, and we are ready to make our burger mixture. So step three is our Bombay burger. And as you can probably guess, that means we've got some curry spices in there, some Indian spices. So I'm going to go over to the big bowl, and what we're going to add to this, just a couple of things. Now I'm going to use a little more of my curry powder, just like a half teaspoon of that into the bowl. And I've got a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I like to substitute soy sauce or sometimes Worcestershire for salt because you get the saltiness but you also get such a depth of flavor with the soy sauce. So I'm going to add that and then I'm going to add, now here's the kicker, I have got some garam masala. Now if you're not familiar with garam masala, oh my gosh girlfriends, get yourself some. This stuff is so aromatic, honestly. I can wear it behind my ears. It's basically just a curry powder variation, and every Indian cook has her own variation, just like she has her own variation on curry powder, and she thinks hers is the best. But here in the States, we've got plenty of options. All of the major spice brands make it, so you can probably find it at your grocery store. It's a little bit warmer than a curry powder. It's got more of the brown spices, like the cinnamon and the cumin and the 
coriander, and honestly, it is so aromatic. If you cannot find it, however, by all means, just substitute a little bit more curry powder. So I am going to add to my burger mixture about a teaspoon and a half of my garam masala. And that is it. I don't need any salt because I've got all that soy sauce in there. So now I'm just going to add my meat. I've got about a pound and a half of ground chuck. So I'm going to add that to my bowl and get those mixed up into five hamburger patties. And I'm going to meet you over at the stove because, well, it's raining out tonight and I wanted to grill, but we can't grill. I'll be back in a few. So my burgers are on the grill. And I've got it cooking about three to four minutes on the first side, and I'm just going to flip them over. They probably need another three to four minutes on the second side. Now, this is probably going to be pretty much the same whether you're doing them out or if you've got a stove top grill like I've got tonight, or you could even do them in a skillet. And we're just going to cook those through, and then I'm going to meet you back over at the counter where we're going to assemble our burgers. I can't even tell you how good these smell. If I had cooked them outside, I think the whole neighborhood would have come over to see what was going on. That curry powder and garam masala, oh, so good. So lots of some assembler burgers. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna start with some of my creamy pineapple coconut spread. And I'm gonna put that on the bottom of my burger. Now I made five burgers out of that one and a half pounds of so we've got plenty of spread, don't be skimpy. I'm gonna to add to that a nice and juicy burger and top it off with some of my crispy slaw. Ah, the flavors, the way the pineapple and the coconut complement those warm curried spices is gonna be an explosion in your mouth. It's fantastic. Your friends are gonna love it, your kids might be and that is it. I've got it all on a sesame seed bun. And we are for our Friday night 